And I, and I see a, a, a video game industry that, that teaches young people to kill. In the wake of more mass shootings over the weekend, while everyone is discussing the need to deal with white supremacy and gun reform, Republicans have taken a different approach. This from the Daily Beast. Republican politicians on Fox News blame video games for latest mass shootings. So I'm going to show you a couple clips here from uh, the first from House Minority Leader Republican Kevin McCarthy, followed by the Lieutenant Governor of Texas, Republican Dan Patrick. And after I show you these clips, I'm going to break down just how full of crap this reasoning is. Watch. When we're talking to each other on social media or looking at video games where they're using, you know, uh, uh, videos of, uh, of characters with these uh, weapons. But the idea of these video games to dehumanize individuals, to um, have a game of shooting individuals and others, I've always felt that is a problem for um, future generations and others. Uh, we, we've watched from studies shown before of what it does to individuals. Um, when you look at these photos of how it took place, um, you, you can see the actions within video games and Dude. others. And I, and I look at this evil act, and let's condemn it for what it is. Evil. Evil. And, and, I, and I say, how long are we going to let, for example, and, and ignore at the federal level particularly, where they can do something about the video game industry? You know, in this manifesto that we believe is from the shooter, this manifesto, he talks about living out his super soldier fantasy on Call of Duty. We know that uh, the video game industry is bigger than the movie industry and the music industry combined. And there have been studies that say it impacts people and studies that says it does not. But I look at the common denominators as, as a 60-some-year-old father and grandfather myself. What's changed in this country? We've always had guns. We've always had evil. But what's changed where we see this rash of shooting? And I, and I see a, a video game industry that, that teaches young people to kill why are we allowing 90% of our children is the estimate between 12 and 17 watching video games? Again, larger than the music industry and the movie industry combined. Are, are we ignoring that? This was, this was a, maybe a video game to this evil demon. A video game to him. He has, he has, he has no, no sense of, of humanity, no sense of life. He wanted to be a super soldier for his Call of Duty game. All right. These people are such idiots. And I'm going to break that down in a second here. But just acknowledge, if you are a gamer and a conservative, acknowledge that these people don't give a shit about you. They will blame games if it means defending the gun lobby. Uh, I mean, it's I find it almost comical uh, of the, the, that there are gamers out there that are conservatives, that support Republican politicians like this. These people don't care about you. Now, let's look at the actual facts here from the so-called liberal media. Republican politicians are total frauds. As you can see, 10 country comparisons suggest there's little or no link between video games and gun murders. Where they share, uh, the uh, Washington Post shares this graph. On the left, gun-related murders per 100,000. On the bottom, video game spending per capita. And you can see the U.S. is way up there in gun-related murders per 100,000, even though my country of Canada spends more on video games. We spend a lot more on video games, a lot less gun deaths per capita. Not even to mention South Korea, Netherlands. I mean, uh, again, there's zero connection here. And then the Washington Post even shows a graph where, I mean, they show you where the dots on the graph should be positioned if there was a link between gun-related murders and video games. The connection just is not there. And I think it's important to, you know, give full context here. Obviously, a country like Japan or South Korea, they play a lot less first-person shooters. But Canadians, Europeans, we largely play the same kinds of games. I mean, Canadian culture and American culture shares so much in common. Yet there is no link between video games and gun deaths. More here. So the New York Times in a 2018 report put out that uh, President Trump said violent video games and movies may play a role in school shootings, a claim that has been rejected many times in the past two decades. In a 2005 essay for PBS, Henry Jenkins, a professor at the University of Southern California, said that juvenile crime in the United States was at a 30-year low, even though large numbers of young people play video games. Quote, 
Researchers find that people serving time for violent crimes typically consume less media before committing their crimes than the average person in the general population, he wrote. When it comes to video games, he said, the overwhelming majority of kids who play do not commit antisocial acts. And there's a lot more data from both these pieces. Again, all my sources I link below the video if you want to read more uh, through each of these articles. Here's no, uh, another one here. So Vox put out several uh, graphs a couple years ago on uh, gu gun-related uh, data. So looking at homicides by firearm per 1 million... You can see, once again, Canadians, even though we play more games, or at least spend more on games, there is uh, much less death by firearms uh, in Canada than Americans. Here's another one. Uh, on the left, gun-related deaths per 100,000 people. On the bottom, guns per 100 people. America has a uh, over 100 guns per 100 people. There's more guns than people in the U.S. Also, by far the most gun-related deaths in the U.S. Again, all these countries at the bottom here, they all play games. Switzerland, Canada, France, all these countries play games. Nowhere near the amount of gun-related deaths that Americans have. So, you have Fox News and conservatives blaming video games for mass shootings. Meanwhile, defending video games, you have the New York Times, the Washington Post, Vox, so-called liberal media, defending video games. Dave Rubin, I'm going to play this clip because this shows you just how fucking idiotic these people are. Dave Rubin claiming that, oh, the left, yes, the left hates video games. But that you have to accomplish something in a video game. You have to keep trying to succeed. Yes, can you go to game facts or can mm -hmm. you get the cheat code and all that stuff? You do, but... It really is about you figuring out how to do all this stuff. And that, to me, sort of shows why the media, and especially the leftist media, hates games now, or hates gamers. They don't like people who solve problems. Am I, am I, is this a bridge too far, or am I onto something? I don't know, I haven't really thought, I have to think about it, I haven't really thought about it. <laughs> Dave Rubin, total idiot. Colin Moriarty, his uh, guest there, being kind enough to not call him a fucking idiot to his face, just saying, oh, yeah, I haven't really thought about it. Yeah, it's absurd. The left hates video games. Yeah, the left media hates video games. Look at the facts. You have Republicans, whether it's Trump back in 2018, that's what that New York Times story was, was, uh, was uh, referencing. Whether it's these Republicans now blaming video games. It's Republicans blaming video games in order to pr protect the gun lobby and not to, and not having to deal with uh, the reality that is white supremacy and this white supremacist president. 